the house is noisy and I have a few errands I was running. So I figured I'd record in the car while being on the road to do. I don't like this lighting. How do you guys record in your car? Like, mm, this lighting ain't for me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I'm Naturally Fabby. If you are a returning subscriber, I am so sorry. My eyes got distracted by this dog and it looks beautiful. But um, today, as you can see, I am recording in my car. That being said, um, don't come for me, please. The lighting's a little off. It's very bright outside and cloudy at the same time. Makes no sense. But um, I wanted to just have a sit down, a little chit chat with you guys, you know. Like a girl talk, but not really a girl talk. More like a update on life and what I've been up to. Mm. Um, so first things first, I, I am officially a business owner and I, by officially, I just mean that it's legally registered as an actual official business. Um, what I do is I make natural body care products, um, soaps, scrubs, body butter, bath bombs, shower steamers. Um, I also sell bath salts, but um, I haven't made any bath salts or bath bombs in a while. I've been focused mainly on my scrubs, soaps, and body butter. I also recently launched my keychain collections where I make um, the body goddess pick keychain. I'll include a picture right here. Um, my website is www.fabbiescorner.com. I don't know. When I was younger, I used to hate my name because it was a very common name. Then I came to America, fell in love with it because nobody, one, has it. Second, they struggle to pronounce it, and I enjoyed seeing that struggle sometime. But now, almost everything I do has my name in it. Like, my photography business has, is Fab's Photography, so everything starts with Fab's because I'm fabulous. Um, but yeah, so other than that... Um, yeah, I'm currently working on a facial cleanser. I'm going to infuse it with some roses. I have rose water. So I'm thinking of making a rose facial cleanser as well as hair oil. I've always been doing my own hair products, so I figured why not launch a hair hairline because I can. But, um, so as you can see in the title, it also says health check. I wanted to be transparent, I guess, with you guys a little bit. Um, I currently am recovering from optic neuritis and that is the nerves in my eyes actually swell up and I lost vision in my eye, specifically my left eye and it swelled up and pretty much what happened was I got a headache around right after Christmas. If anybody knows me, I am prone to headaches and migraines. That's part of my daily life. I always have a headache. I always have a migraine. It's always something. And sometimes they either come with eye pain or sinus issues. So when it happened, I didn't think much of it because, you know, it's not my first time having it. And um, I didn't actually get my eye checked out until my vision actually turned black, like, talking about black, black, like, Ray Charles to the bullshit, tough shit, but, um, yeah, um, what happened was the eye pain, you know, when you move your eyes, it hurts from migraine, I figured that was a regular thing since I already, always have it, and then it started with blurry vision, and I still ignore it because I figured, Oh, it's probably from the high pain and the migraine. Let me just take an ibuprofen. Let me get some food in my system, some water in my system. Maybe that's what I need, some rest. You know, my regular stuff. It didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work, but it's not until my vision actually went black did I make an appointment for the doctors, and I started getting worried about it. Um, 
when I went and they made me do an MRI. My MRI is clean, thank God. They thought it was an autoimmune disease that I actually just kind of had, never showed any symptom until now. But it's not that. So technically, we still don't know what it is. I have blood test results that I have to go back to the doctors for um, and have them read my test resort. But um, where is it? Sorry, I have my little notes on my phone because... Mm, excuse me. But once they figured out I have optic neuritis, um, the doctor put me on treatment for intravenous steroids for three days. And, you know, that was horrible because they can never find my vein. Like, it left me with a bruise. I think I have a picture. If I find a picture, I will include it in this clip so you can see. Um... It's gone now, but I've had that bruise for almost two weeks. I'm not okay with that. I don't bruise easy, and bruises don't stay on me easy. So, the fact that I had a bruise for more than a couple hours, huh? I was upset. But that being said, um, after the intravenous steroids treatment for three days, um, they put me on the pill. I'm still on it, and um, my vision is coming back. Like, I am seeing sort of um it's still blurry you know but it feels like a slow motion of what a reverse slow motion of what happened to my eyes so my eyes at first got spot it got blurry at first then it was spotted like white spots in my vision and then it turned into black spots in my vision and then it slowly gradually just started turning full black so once i got on the treatment it was like a slow-mo reverse of that so the black went away then the black spots white spot now i'm at blurred so we are hoping that it goes back to its regular schmegler vision but um yeah other than that i'm fine but um you know the side effect of the steroids you would think it would be muscles no it's weight it's fat like i don't struggle with enough fat but um, they did warn me that I would be gaining weight. And I thought like with any medication, you know, weight gain is like on a side effect that they have to tell you about. But this gain weight is serious, sis. If you can't tell by how pudgy and this double chin right here. If you can tell by how pudgy I am right now. um, Don't, don't comment on it, but... But, um, you know, my brother gave me a challenge on how to maximize my cardio workout at the gym. I am working on it, um, you know. Mm -hmm. um, quarantine made me lazy, so that ain't help. That ain't help, but I'm a competitive person, so... Bring it on, bro! No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, I am going to be working hard on it. I am definitely cleaning up my eating habits. My sugar intake, I've definitely worked, I've definitely like cleaned it up a bit, I should say. Um, yeah. My sister's vegan and she wants me to be vegan with her. I can't do it because I like my dairy, I like my milk, I like my yogurt, I like my cheese. I think the closest to veganism that i can be is pescatarian i'm not even going with vegetarian because last time i tried to be vegetarian it lasted two days and i didn't realize until like i was like halfway through like a 10 piece chicken nugget that was eating some meat okay so we're gonna start it slow i'm i've been pescatarian before so i'm thinking of going back to being pescatarian to help with the eating and the cleaning i am planning on cooking more at home or since i spend most of my time at work and i'm able to cook at work i might start making my lunches at work you know some brown rice some fish some shrimp you know <laughs> but um yeah so how have you guys been i would like to know uh, i'm thinking of eventually doing a live on the channel I would love it if you guys could comment below and let me know what you think. Would you join me? Would you come and chit chat? Do not comment on this drink. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much my little life update. 
Well, another big news is that I am going back to school. I say it like I ever stopped. Like, I... I mean, I got my degree. I'm just going back. <laughs> I got my degree, went to work, took one semester off and went back to school. Took another semester off. But um, I pretty much have not stopped going to school even though I graduated. I am currently going back to finish something that I had started. And I told myself that once I finish my major major, my first major, I would go back and finish this one. So I am definitely going to go back and finish that one. That's what I'm going to do. And um, that being said, my life is going to get a lot busier. But... I'm going to work hard at staying on, sorry. I'm going to work hard at staying on schedule with this YouTube, uh, the YouTube schedule I set up for myself, which is once a week. But I also do want to include other things since I am a, also a lifestyle, la, 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 la. I am also a lifestyle channel. That's why I'm including a little more vlog. I also want to include, you know, maybe some self care tips I have um, you know, skincare products. I'll, I use my own skincare products, so I'll definitely do some routine and show it to you guys. And um, I would like your inputs on this too, so let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, this has been my little life update. Thank you for sticking through, and I'll see you guys in my next video.